Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for July 19th, 2017. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, not too much change after my playthrough overall. Uh, LB kept the top score at 870. He did not get shipskin, he did have more drone health by, uh, well, 30 points. Uh, yeah. Burning Ass Taco, Cloudy567, Innocent, Marvin, and Astronomy Goon, and myself scored an 860, getting a more moderate drone health and ship scan with one scrap. Ash White, Dano416, and Girthar scored an 840, not getting the ship scan. And let's see, Copper scored a 770, Nox Skitney scored a 750, and Mactinchi a, a 360. Leapers hit hard. That's really all I can say there. 37 people in total played, which is again a return to that nice number that I like to see over 30. Let's see what we have today. Son of a bitch. Well, there's another one. Damn it. Okay. Let's see. I've got ship surveyor and reroute power with six rooms in total. Stealth, which is good, and, well, mostly low drone health. I have dare, uh, salvage B, two infestation types, good hull integrity. Just because it says two infestation types does not mean everything will be working. Uh, there could be a vent, in which case it could spawn swarm. Two infestation types in the ship this small means I should be able to get in and out relatively quickly. That said, if there's a stupid number of generators, then that's going to be very difficult. Please tell me that son of a bitch. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. And by hard way, I mean the way that's sure to get my drones killed. Okay, that's one infestation. Okay, so that's good. I don't have time to get out of this room, so not even gonna bother. Got motion and shield though. Do I have any other? Nope, I don't. You're no help at all, are you? Okay. Um. I'm not worrying about time at the moment, but I know there is a vent, so I know because of this glitch that swarm could spawn. Keep that guy in there. Um. Well, I have to get into R4. I don't have anything else that I need in R5, though. 
I don't know why I'm watching the time. And it's a good hull integrity, so I shouldn't lose it. Okay, so here's the problem. I still have to do this with... Let's open D2, see what happens. I have one airlock. I'm going to assume that's safe. A broken terminal. Ship upgrade, A working terminal. I have no way to check. This is about a worst case scenario. I didn't bring that with me. I don't have teleport or anything. So I've got to get the ship upgrade out somehow. I think I have this. I think I've got this. I hope I've got this, because if I don't, I'm screwed. was fast. Go on. Please go on. Oh, you son of- oh, nope. Okay, good. some time. I've got some time. This is working out all right. Two got stuck. That's okay. Yep, yeah, that's not surprising. Kind of expected that, but I was hoping that if I did it work the right the first time that it wouldn't do it. Um, 
Never it two to one. Now, I need to get that sentry out. And if I can trap it in, I'm not gonna get it into R3. And I'm, that's a huge risk considering I know that Vink can spawn. But if I can get it into R4, Come this way. Shit. I didn't consider that. that was quick enough. No, it wasn't. Oh, shit. Hoo-hoo! And I hear that swarm now. Please. Please. I can't see what's in R6, so I can just Hail Mary, basically. Okay, should be safe now. So I think that is actually it for this run. I can't get the scan. And I'm there's with one airlock there's no way I can get the sentry killed. I have reroute power. Son of a bitch. Oh well, I did what I needed to without it, so I'll take that as a win. Um, the only thing I could possibly do is a 5 or 6, preferably 5, took radiation. I could radiate the sentry hopefully in there. But, because I can't see where it is, because 4, 5, and 6 are uh, blind to motion. There's really nothing I can do there. I'd certainly like to, but with the options available, just not gonna happen. I'd really like to, But I can't think of any way to do it. 
So, let's get out of here. And I did hear Swarm in R3, so definitely verify that happens. 795, one propulsion, one jump fuel, eight scrap. Unless you wait around an extremely long time, and this was a good hull integrity if I recall, it's very unlikely for to, to get a radiation hit. Um, and you know, on a ship this size, the best way to do it, best way to plan for it, for lack of a better term, would be an asteroid strike. And on a ship this size, that could take up the whole ship. So, I'm okay with what it was. Again, eight scrap, one propulsion, one jump fuel, starting score of 530. Picked up two drone upgrades and one ship upgrade. Again, 795. Maybe I'll say that again, 795. Fax told you, scored a 755. That could have been drone health. LB scored a 745. That could have been drone health. There's not too much overall to help on this ship. Actually, was there anything? I don't think there was anything in the sentry room. There was one or two scrap in room four. Fax Tosh is fairly new. He may have had the same health that I did and wasn't able to uh, wasn't able to get to it. But then he wouldn't have gotten the ship upgrade. I'm not sure. LB may not have gotten up room four. Because that would be ship upgrade plus one scrap. I don't know. I'll have to check those out. I recommend you do too. Well, for now, if you haven't done your run yet, good luck. If you have, leave a comment with your own experiences, your own strategies for this broken ass ship. God damn. Broken ass ship. <sighs> Just frustrating. That's the second that's the second time that we've seen that recently. So that's the second time like this month that we've seen it. And the third time ever. So yeah. Strange. If you'd like to check out other playthroughs, and I recommend Faxtolgia and LB and everyone else, honestly. Uh, you can see Marvin, Copper, Dino416, LB, Noxkitney. And facts told you, all linked in my video description. Um, I'm understanding there are a few others that are playing as well, but some of them are newer. Um, I've seen LB commenting on someone that he's aware of, uh, who just started posting their recordings, and I don't know who that is. On the one hand, I want to say that I'm hesitant to keep adding everyone playing the Duskers Daily Challenge. On the other hand. I kind of want to encourage it, even if I'm not able to watch them every day, and for what it's worth, I apologize on that. Uh, I wish that I had the time to watch them, and between work work and this and other gaming activities, I rarely do. Um, hope to manage to start squeezing those in at some point, but not always going to happen. Uh, for now, if you enjoyed the video, do please like and have a good day.